prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves to enter the Holy Week, we ask our Lord Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd, to gather us again into the love and embrace of the Father. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. 
I will make them one nation upon the land, in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers live. They shall live on it forever. They and their children and their children's children with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Thus, the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy. When my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on the distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror, shouting, They shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessing, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well, I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console the glad in them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in Him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, 
nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another as they were in the temple area, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, as we enter into Holy Week in our celebration of Palm Sunday tomorrow, we are reminded of the mission of Jesus, why he needed to enter Jerusalem and ultimately in Jerusalem suffer and offer his life on the cross. In both our readings today, we are reminded of the mission of Jesus, the mission of a shepherd to gather again the scattered flock of Israel. In our first reading today, from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, this was the prophecy given by God to the prophet Ezekiel that one day God will be the shepherd of Israel and he will gather the scattered people of Israel according to the promise of God the time will come when God as a shepherd will gather the scattered flock Never again shall they be two nations. Never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. Never again. Ang pangako ng Diyos ay hindi na muling magkakaaway-away ang kanyang bayan. Hindi na muli sila magkakahati-hati hindi na muli sila magkakalat-kalat sapagkat ang Diyos mismo bilang pastol ay pagkakaisahin muli sila. Sila ay titipunin niyang muli bilang kanyang bayan. God will gather His scattered flock. And in our gospel reading today, we hear of the prophecy, an unintended prophecy of Caiaphas that he said when Jesus enters Jerusalem, this one man will offer his life and die so that the dispersed children of God will be gathered into one. Kaya si Jesus ay mag-aalay ng kanyang buhay upang tipunin muli ang kanyang bayan na nagkalat-kalat at hindi na nagkakaisa, nagkakaaway-away. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the grace of Holy Week. 
God gathers us again as a shepherd gathers his flock. But my dear brothers and sisters, we can only be gathered by God if we allow ourselves also to be gathered by God. Sometimes, our nation is scattered, our community is scattered because we have scattered selves. Madalas ko mga kapatid ay kalat-kalat tayo sapagkat ang sarili mismo natin ay kalat-kalat din. We have scattered selves. Siguro po ay naranasan nyo na yan. Parang pakiramdam nyo minsan ay kalat, kalat ang sarili. Parang hindi ka makapag-focus. Pakiramdam mo ang iyong buhay ay kalat. Hindi ka makapag ng mabuti. Parang kalat-kalat ang iyong sarili. In this Holy Week, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to gather our scattered self again, to make us whole again. Ngayong papasok na ang Semana Santa, marami po siguro sa atin ang kalat pa ang isip, kalat pa ang sarili, dahil sa napakarami nating pinagdaanan nitong mga taon na ito. Maybe some of us have scattered selves because we have lost jobs. You do not know where will you gather money for your livelihood, for your family. Maybe some of us feel we are scattered because we are sick. Baka may sakit ka. At pakiramdam mo ay hindi ka makapag-focus. Kalat-kalat ang iyong isip. Hindi ka makapag -desisyon. Scattered self. Maybe you have a recent death in the family. Baka kamakailan lang ay mayroong namatay at nawala sa pamilya. Kalat-kalat pa ang iyong isip. Hindi ka pa makapag-isip ng mabuti at pakiramdam mo ay kalat ang iyong sarili. This Holy Week is a grace given to you by God. Let us allow God, Jesus our Shepherd, to gather again our scattered selves so that he could make us whole again. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ito po ang panalangin po natin sa misang ito. Siguro po ay nagsimba kayo dito at may daladala tayong ating mga sariling mga suliranin pagsubok sa buhay. At pakiramdam siguro natin ay kalat ang ating isip, kalat ang ating damdamin, Kalat ang ating mga karanasan. Lumapit tayo sa Diyos at ang ating panalangin. Panginoon, buuin mo muli ang aking sarili. Buuin niyo puli ang aking sarili nang sa gayon mabuo rin muli ang aming pamilya. Mabuo rin muli ang aming bayan. Mabuo rin muli ang aming mundo. Our prayer in this Mass is this, Lord, gather again my scattered self and make me whole again. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray to God our Father that we may have the courage of Christ.
to face life and its difficulties, even death, for the sake of life and growth for ourselves and others. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That non-Christians may come to know Jesus who died for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That separated Christians may show greater commitment to ecumenism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those in authority may commit themselves to the service of truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all Catholics may have a special sense of belonging to each other through their common faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all our sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That mothers who lose their child may not be crushed by the weight of their problems. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. God, our Father, who by drawing the faithful together has made them one body of Christ, send your Holy Spirit to gather your people into a closer bond with each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for through the saving passion of your son the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed 
and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. As we enter the Holy Week, may we invite you all tonight for our online Lenten recollection, and uh, our recollection will be centered on the new image to be unveiled and blessed, the image of the homeless Jesus. And our online Lenten recollection will be at 7.30 p.m. this evening. Father Reggie and I will give our Lenten reflections, and we will also have a spiritual conversation with the artist who made the sculpture of the homeless Jesus. His name is Timothy Schmals. This Lenten recollection will be online, and you may watch it on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Again, this is tonight at 7.30 p.m. Tomorrow, Palm Sunday, our Masses here at the Cathedral will be at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 6 p.m. Our beloved Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula, will preside over the 10 a.m. Mass, and he will also unveil and bless the image of the homeless Jesus at the patio of the Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Santa Maria, Reina ng sanlibutan, nakatawag.